it's Mini! Today in this video, I'm going to show you how I shape my nails into an oval shape. I hope you enjoy! For filing, I'll be using this emery board, but you can use any nail files you like. When the nail file is brand new like this one, these edges can be quite sharp and it will be painful when it rubs against the skin. So I'm going to smooth out these edges using this old file. I simply run the file up and down. And that's it! My nail file is ready! When you are filing, it is important to hold the file lightly and not to grasp it. I'm going to quickly explain my filing procedure. I look at the nail from above and imagine a straight line running down the center and the spot where the line ends will be the tip of the oval shape. Then I look at the spots where the white part of the nail starts. I'll be filing from these spots towards the tip. To create a nice round shape, keep the file slightly angled up. This is too flat and this is too angled. Always keep it slightly angled when you are filing the tip as well. Ok, let's start filing. Gently file from the side towards the tip. Always file in a straight line going in one direction. other side file the tip to create a smooth round shape take a look from the side and straighten the bottom of the nail Straighten the other side as well. Gently scrape to remove the rough bits on the edge. Moving on to the next nail and repeat the same steps. File from both sides. Create a smooth round tip. Straighten the bottom. Then remove the rough bits. When your nail has the side spots at the different level like my thumb, file from the same level as the higher spot. to use a squishy sponge buffer to finish my filing. This will make the edge extra smooth and it will prevent the nails from getting caught in the clothes. Also they will look much cleaner when I apply a nail polish onto the edge. done. I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions or any other nail shapes you would like to see, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.